we are making bacon praline ice cream. So to start this recipe, warm up a medium-sized saucepan, add some butter in there, start to melt down your butter, and to that you're going to add some dark brown sugar. This will give us lots of nice rich flavor. And then while that's melting down, you are going to add some dark rum. A little bit extra never hurts. Some vanilla. And you're going to cook this until it starts to come up to a bubble. Just a little gentle simmer. So we've melted together our sugar, rum, vanilla. And to that I'm going to add heavy whipping cream, so 35% whipping cream. We want to bring all of this up to a boil. So while that's coming up to a boil, you can prepare your egg yolks. So a little helpful hint for at home is whenever I'm whisking something in a big bowl like this, salad dressings, ice cream base, I like to get a damp kitchen towel, twist it around like that, and this kind of gives you an extra set of hands in the kitchen and you make a little nest. And so I've got six egg yolks in this, just the yolks. We just want the richness and the color of the yolks and that's gonna really thicken up our ice cream and give us great flavor. So whisk those. So our cream has come up to a nice simmer. I've just turned it down. My egg yolks are ready. So what I want to do now is temper my egg yolks. So start slowly pouring a little bit of this cream mixture in. If you pour it all in at once, you'll have scrambled eggs. So nice and slow. Bring up the temperature of the eggs. It's perfect. Once you've done that, we now return this mixture to the pot just to cook it for a couple more minutes so there's no raw egg in here. So our ice cream base has been cooking for a couple of minutes. You want to be consistently stirring this because of the egg in there. If you're not constantly stirring it, you can scramble your eggs. So keep moving it around. I like to use a nonstick heat proof spatula. And how you can tell that this is done is I just run my finger along my spatula and if the line holds, then it's good, that's done. And you can turn off your heat and pour this into a bowl and get it as cold as you can as quickly as possible. It has to be completely cold before you try and freeze it in your ice cream machine. So to make bacon praline, we need to make a basic caramel. So I'm going to add my white granulated sugar into a sauce pot. Turn on the heat. And then I'm going to cover that with just enough water to cover the sugar. And you just let that cook. You want it to become a nice amber color. This process takes about 10 minutes. So our caramel is getting very close to being at the right stage. You want to see it get a nice golden brown all around. At this point, I like to stir it a little bit. Make sure you're using a heat proof spatula. And this happens quite quickly, but I do like to do it over high heat. And then as soon as you have that perfect caramel color that you're looking for, then you can add in your rendered bacon. And turn off the heat. And then using a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, this is very important, otherwise you will not be able to get it off the cookie sheet. Take your caramel sauce, which will be our bacon praline, and lay it out onto the cookie sheet. And be very, very careful because the sugar is extremely hot. And just spread it out into a nice even layer. Set that aside and let it harden. 
Our bacon praline has sat and it's now hard. So you can see this is a very firm disc of praline now. We need to break it up into pieces. I like to use a meat cleaver. That seems to do the job. And just kind of smash it up. This is good as is, nice little snack. But what we're going to do is place this in a food processor. So you just want to break it up into manageable size pieces that will fit into your food processor and grind it up till it's nice and fine like this because we're going to be folding this into our ice cream. Our ice cream base has been churning for about 15 minutes now. Right before I take it out of the machine, I'm going to add my bacon praline just to mix it through. Okay, our ice cream is done now. Remove the lid, pull out the blade, and just scrape the ice cream off. Try not to eat it all already. So at this point, you can serve it just like this, or you could put it into a container and you could freeze it. I probably wouldn't keep it any longer than a week. It tends to get a little bit too hard in the freezer. So that's it, that's our beautiful bacon ice cream. Visit atcobluflamekitchen.com for more tips.